Hey guys, um, I've been requested to make a video on how I got into Stanford and other schools, um, about my scores, my application, my four years in high school, what I did, um, so this will be that video. I guess I'll just start off with scores. I took the SAT, I studied for it by myself with um, the College Board's Blue Book. Um, I used that over winter break and then took it in January and I scored a 2310 on it, which I was very happy about, but then um, people were telling me like, oh, you should probably try the ACT as well to see if you do better on it. So I did. Um, I got like the red book from ACT and I took a few tests in that, and then I took the ACT and got a 35. And at that point, I was like satisfied with my scores, even though like a lot of people in my community were like, oh, you could try a little harder. I was like, no, that's like fine for me. I think they're really great scores. I definitely don't recommend trying again if you have scores in that range. Um, I also took like subject SATs. I took bio, math two, and literature and scored above a 750 on all of them but you really only need to take two i think all colleges that i applied to only required two and um yeah like study for them but really like don't kill yourself over them they really don't matter that much i'd say okay so for activities my first activity i put down was creative writing I wasn't in any like clubs specifically for creative writing. I was in my school's literary magazine, which I put as a different extracurricular. But by creative writing, I just meant that um, in my spare time, I write uh, for myself. I also submit to some lit mags. My description for that was, I am constantly writing poetry and creative nonfiction. And then I put down like a few places that I was published in, like online and stuff. Um, yeah. And then my second activity that I put down, which is actually the activity that I spent the majority of my time on during my four years in high school, was research. I did psychology research at a university near me. Um, yeah, I like contacted a few professors um, April of my sophomore year and the second professor that I contacted is actually the one I'm working with. Yeah, I still work there now. Um, but yeah, the first summer I was there, I basically like I helped out with the labs projects that they were doing. And then um, after that, like during junior year and the summer after junior year <clears throat> um i started working on my own project and i got to write a research paper for that which was really cool and exciting and um i got to submit to intel and present at some fairs and stuff um then like all my other activities are like various clubs um that are school affiliated like i was in my school's feminist club and my school's literary magazine and i put down a few more oh and then newspaper but yeah i think that colleges just want to see that you're interested in things or thing if you're interested in one thing that's perfectly fine actually that might be I'm not sure if it's better or worse, but at least you will have a lot more time to focus on that one thing that you're interested in. I just recommend like, even though there's 10 spots to put down activities for, you definitely don't need to fill up all 10 spots because I just filled out 8 spots, which is still kind of a lot, but like I cut out a bunch of things that I didn't think were that important to me. like. 
for example, French Honor Society. I really only help out a little bit for that sometimes, um, so I didn't put that down. And also like National Honor Society, for my school, we joined that in 11th grade. So, and I just did like the minimum seven meetings, seven like outside of school activities for community service. Um, and I didn't really think I played a large part in that. So I did not put that down for my common app essay. I wrote about curiosity and basically like asking questions about the world um, and how as I grew older I found that poetry was sort of my way of asking my questions and finding or trying to find answers to them and basically I just try to sound a lot deeper than I actually am um, but yeah that was what my common app essay was on okay so like I sort of based the style of my supplement essays based on the style of the question and how they worded it. So for instance, my like UChicago and Stanford essays were really like wild and out there because the questions were so like interesting to me. Um, while for example, Penn's question, why Penn? Like, that's not really that fun or exciting. It's pretty straight. It's a lot more straightforward and they just want you to give them reasons why I want to go to Penn. And so I just wrote my reasons. Um, it's not that I didn't have, well, yeah, I didn't really have that much fun writing this essay. Um, side note, if you're not having fun writing an essay, I don't care if it's like a why this school essay or like a really weird topic like how do you compare apples and oranges like Chicago did. Um, if you're not enjoying writing an essay, maybe don't apply to that school. You probably won't enjoy going there. I don't know. I sort of... <clears throat> I don't regret applying to as many schools as I did. I just... Um, cause like there's no guarantee of getting into your dream school, even if you feel like your personality fits it. I had no idea what schools my personality fit because I just felt like I'd have a great education and a great time at all of the schools I applied to. Um, what else should I talk about? Um, okay, for essay writing, I suggest you write a lot. I don't care what grade you're in right now, just start writing. If you really want to like be motivated and write good essays, I suggest you start writing right now. Not the essays, just writing in general. Practice your writing skills. Like, just think of a topic, any topic. It could be like grape jam and then write your thoughts on grape jam and see what you come up with, see if it's something, like just write your randomest, craziest thoughts. If you write enough, and if you write often enough, then the whole like voice and style and all those writing things will just fall into place just because of how often you've been writing and practicing writing. <laughs> that's, that's just what I'll suggest. Um, yeah, it's nice to at least have a draft or two of your common app essay this summer before your senior year. I went a little overboard and wrote seven very different drafts of my common, es common app essay on entirely different topics. And then I chose my best one and then kept revising that until my early application deadline supplements you should wait until the college actually like gives you what the supplement topics are because sometimes like they change every year it's totally okay if you're a freshman and don't know what you want to do with your life because when i was in my freshman year i had no idea what i wanted to do i thought i wanted to do like really hard sciences um and then i soon realized that that probably wasn't for me uh 
I just say like try out a bunch of things if you're still like in your first few years of high school and then you can just drop the things that you're not enjoying so that when you apply for colleges you still have that continuity and it's in the things that you like doing and you're not just in a club just to be in a club. I was bad and procrastinated a lot and wrote all of my supplements during winter break <laughs> before like the January 1st or 2nd or whatever it was deadline. It wasn't terrible, like I still got it all done. I just did not go outside for nine days straight. Um, I stayed at my computer the entire time. It was just like, wake up, write, eat, write, eat again, write more, go to sleep, wake up, write. And that was my entire schedule for that winter break. Uh, Christmas was like a half hour celebration. Um, if you're the kind of person that procrastinates things and is used to procrastinating things, then it'll probably work for you. But um, if you're the type of person that is really proactive, then yeah, don't do that. Uh, save yourself from the stress. I was very stressed out, um, but you know, <laughs> That's okay, it's all over now. <laughs> um, I am not an admissions officer. I do not work at any university or their admissions d department, their admissions office. Yeah, that's what I meant. So I have no idea why I got into the schools I got into. I am just telling you what I put on my application and... I mean, yeah, <laughs> um, you can leave some questions below if you want. Mm. AP exams, just like take the ones that you are taking classes for right now in high school. If you want, you can self-study some. I did self-study self-study some. I self-studied two in 10th grade, one in 11th grade. Yeah, I don't think it had too big of a part in my application. Um, Yeah, I really, I don't know. I I would like to say that AP exams, do, like your scores don't matter too much to colleges because they don't even ask for a score report, you know, but then again, what do I know? I don't work for admissions. So like, I feel like any advice I give you guys is just like not um, qualified. <laughs> uh, but yeah. I think that is all. <laughs> Bye! <laughs>